Repeat after me. Apple, table, penny. Apple. The effort to develop a treatment for Alzheimer's suffered a blow yesterday when a clinical trial, at least a decade in the making, was halted. Today, there are more people over 80 than ever before. In 2050, there will be 32 million seniors, triple what it is today. And one out of every two of us will have Alzheimer's disease. I lost both grandmothers. My granddad had it. My father-in-law. An uncle. My dad. My mother has Alzheimer's, so I may have it. He didn't know my kids when they came to visit him. And can we get there soon enough? No one's ever done this before. Nobody's come up with a disease-modifying medication for Alzheimer's. You give a new medicine to somebody, it takes a long time to see whether that medicine's going to have any effect. And 99.6% of all Alzheimer's trials failed. I still remember just feeling my heart sink. I actually had to leave the room. I was just numb. I've never seen a study that just missed on so many measures. But then um, we kept looking. We said, well, look, the studies weren't designed just to look at patients with mild disease. And we looked at each other and I kept saying, you all have something here, don't you? We said, we have a drug. So there's excitement and there's hope, two words you never hear with Alzheimer's. My four-year-old is really into superheroes, and he saw uh, an interview that I had done where I was in the lab, had the lab coat on, and he just was like, Daddy, you're a scientist. And I never realized this. Almost every superhero starts off as a scientist. They are not in the spotlight, but they are heroic characters fighting against all odds. Imagine the impact if we could change the course of Alzheimer's disease. Just because we think the brain is more complex than the universe itself doesn't mean it is. It just doesn't feel that way yet. This is the final frontier in medicine. We have to find the cure. Failure is not an option.